What's going on YouTube? MOT here and welcome to another video. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can increase your download upload speed and reduce latency for a better gaming experience by just enabling this simple option in your router. Now, I have the TP-Link router with me and I had to go in Advanced, System Tools, and then in System Parameters uh, to find this option. The option is called NAT Boost and right now it's disabled because I want to demonstrate to you guys how much big of a difference it makes. Now before I enable it, let's see how much speed I get. So I'm running this speed test right now through fast and it's measuring my download speed to be about 120 Mbps. So my download is at 120 Mbps, my latency loaded is at 19 ms, unloaded 51 ms, and my upload speed it measured at 140 Mbps. Now I'm actually going to go back in my router and I'm actually going to enable this option called NAT Boost. Let's see how much difference it makes. So one thing to note is that um, if you're enabling this option on TP-Link, it reboots the device. So you have to be careful if you're doing something urgent that uses internet connection, wait for it to finish. And another thing is that this option might be called as NAT acceleration as well, uh, depending on which brand of router you have. So now it's rebooting and it takes a few minutes for the process to finish sometimes. Once the process is done, um, the router will again turn back on. and it's connected now. So let's see how much uh, speed I get now once I have enabled NAT Boost. So once I enabled NAT Boost, I am able to get more than 330 Mbps download speed. And my latency has remained about the same when it's unloaded. However, my loaded latency went down to 28 ms. And my upload speed is a lot more at 450 Mbps. Uh, comparing to the result before, I'm getting a lot more better performance out of my router by naming this option. So yeah just find the option out in your router as well and let me know what you guys think how, what results you get by enabling this option on your router thank you for watching this video and i hope you guys find it very useful